All right, it's time for your next set of syllabary. In this um, set of exercises, we're going to be studying hey, he, ho, who, huh, la, and lay. So, to draw hey, about halfway up your line, uh, put a mark straight down. Then the other half, put a half a circle to meet the line. So that's hey. Again, half height line, and draw the half circle to meet it. Hey. 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 And it does help if you actually practice along with me at the start of these sets so that you can get used to the shapes. It's important to do that. Again, halfway up, line straight down. Then we put a half circle top. Hey. Now remember, you're supposed to keep your tongue against your lower front teeth whenever you're practicing the syllabary. Always do that. If you do that later when you're actually reading syllabary, reading Cherokee in the syllabary, you will automatically, without thinking about it, put your tongue in the correct position for speaking Cherokee. Um, and this is the easiest way to do to learn to do that without having to worry about it ever again is that whenever you're doing the syllabary always stick the tip of your tongue against your lower front teeth all right so now let's go on to heat now to draw heat we start towards the bottom we curve then we go up and we curve, come back down, and we pull back in the same direction, okay? Then we add the crossbar last, okay? So let's do that again. I'm pulling down and I'm curving, then I curve up and I go all the way up, and then I curve back down, and I keep curving. I don't stop curving when I get to the bottom. I curve all the way back so that both curves are pointed in the same direction. Both curves are on the left side of the line, and they're both about the same height. And last, of course, we add the crossbar. So again, he, 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 Now remember, you don't have to be exactly perfect to just approximate these shapes. Uh, just pay attention to where I say there's something special you have to worry about. It's the only thing you have to worry about. You're not going to look exactly like what you see here. You're not going to look, you especially look like typed versions and, or anything here. Your style is going to be unique to you. Okay, let's just move on to the next letter. The next letter is, so we have hey, he, our next letter is whole. So do whole. First we do a full height line all the way down. Then about the third way down we put a half height line. So about a third there is gone, and about a third there is gone, and I have between a third and a half height line. And then I add the crossbar. So that's whole. So again, full size bar, about half size bar, and we draw the crossbar, whole. Full size bar, half size bar, and we draw the crossbar, so that's whole. So again, whole, 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 all right. Now the next one we have here looks almost like the old hangman game noose. And it's pretty much drawn the same way. So for the letter who, first you draw a full height bar all the way down. Then we draw a long bar across the top. And then we add a little hook, a little flat straight hook. So again, 
It's a long strike bar down. It's got a long cap. It's got a little drop on the cap. So that's who. So who, 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 all right. The next letter is huh. Now, because it is with the uh sound, it has to be sounded through the nose. So this is always sounded through the nose. It's huh going in here. Or coming through here. Huh. So what we want to do here is we want to pull down, we go up, all the way up, and I loop around, come back through, and I come back up. Okay? And then, this is very important, I'm putting a cap over here on this side. I'm not doing, this side has no cap, this side has a cap. That's important which side you put that cap on. Okay? Always put the cap on this side. Okay? And it's usually kept a little curvy. Okay? So that's huh. So again, I'm pulling down, I'm going all the way up, I'm curving around, I come down back through, I come up, then I add a curvy cap on that side. Again, I pull down, I go up, I pull down, I cut through, I pull up, I put that there, and that's huh. So now, huh. the letter huh. Next letter is the letter la. Okay. Now it's very important that you do it this way. Okay. You make it down, you go all the way up, okay, then you start the next point at the top. Okay, and you come down and you go back up again, okay? Now, if you'll notice, these two lines do not cross each other. It's extremely important that they meet at the top. You don't have them cross whatsoever. They must meet at the top with no crossing whatsoever, okay? So again, I go down, I go up, I go down, I go up, and that's the letter LA. So, LA, 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 la. All right, and again. Do not cross the middle lines. They must meet at the tip at the top. Then we have our last new letter for this session. That's the letter LE. Okay? And again, it's one of the ones that have that curvy shape I was talking about from the first set. Um, you can compare it to the letter GA. It kind of looks familiar to, similar to the letter GA when you first start drawing it. So it's going to have that curvy shape. So we're going to do the curve shape first, like this. But instead of stopping here, I keep going and go back and touch. Okay? Now I don't pull through, I only touch. That's important that you don't pull through, but you touch. Now this is again, this is the letter LE. So we curve all the way down, then we curve all the way back. So again, that's lay. So lay, 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 
Lei. 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 All right. Now remember, um, this chart will be displayed during the exercise in the video. In addition, uh, you will be reviewing the previous seven, and the chart for that will be on the right-hand side of the screen. The chart for your new seven will be on the left-hand side of the screen. So let's get started.